go on YouTube. This is uh, Sergeant Terrell coming from the Chicagoland area. Um, everybody's been asking about what my EDC is for working security. So I thought I'd give you guys a rundown um, as of right now. I want to give a disclaimer though. I've been doing security for about 15 years now. And so I didn't just go out and buy all this stuff at one time. You know, I know a lot of security officers, especially starting off, they don't have a lot of money and you got to get what you can get. So uh, that's just a little disclaimer. You know, if you take your time, piece everything together, eventually you end up with a really good finished product. Okay, so real quick, the belt itself is Bianchi Acumo. Um, there's a couple things on here that came from under other third parties, but for the most part, it's all Bianchi. All right, from left to right, this is going to be a ass covered holder, which carries a 26 inch ass sentry baton that I carry. Moving down from that, it's going to be my Taser X26 in the Blackhawk. Uh, right-handed taser holder. Take this out real quick. Moving over from that, it's going to be my MK4 uh, pepper gel. Um, this one in particular is made by Defense Technology. It's a Safari Land product. Now I do, I do kind of mismatch between which pepper sprays I do carry. If I'm indoors, I would carry this. But if I happen to know that I'm working an outdoor post, I usually go to the Fox. This is my tried and true. I've been through a couple incidents with this and I can tell you it works. All right. Moving down from that, this is going to be my Stinger HPL. This light is actually is pretty expensive, but it is super bright. You know, um, it's definitely worth the money. You know, I wouldn't recommend like a security officer first time. You know, if this is their first security job, especially going armed. You know. Try to get something a little bit more cheaper, but still good. But as time goes on, you definitely want to upgrade. All right, moving over. What? Moving over. I carry a set of ass pin cuffs. These are the hinge. I carry them in an actual ass and a nylon holder. Uh, moving over from that, double uh, latex glove pouch. It's always good to carry a few extra sets. You know, I don't just carry them here, but I also carry them in my pocket on my uniform, sometimes in my vest also. You just never know. It always comes in handy, especially when you're dealing with blood or pathogens and things like that. All right. Um... Moving over, this is going to be an ass uh, nylon handcuff case. In this case, I carry a set of uh, chain, chain ass cuffs. You know, these are actually really nice cuffs to have. I know there is cheaper options, but like I tell a lot of people, you know, if your cuffs are what's holding the prisoner, you know, if you've ever seen somebody actually slip out of cuffs and you don't know why, spend a little couple extra dollars, it's worth it. Um, moving on, this is going to be a, uh, just a cheap multi-tool I carry, nothing really too expensive, uh, but it's made by a company called Ozark. It's a little mini multi-tool, it has a set of pliers, a uh, couple of 
other accessories, you know, a knife, screwdriver, things like that. You never know what you're going to need when you're out in the field. Moving down, this is going to be a Safari Land 6360 uh, light bearing holster. Um, it's a level 3. It has an add on sentry, which technically makes it a level 4. Um, I'm all about weapon retention. I tell that to every new officer, you know. Um, truth be told, the bad guys, they pay attention to, you know, what type of gear that we, um, we carry. So I'm not trying to make it easy for them to, you know, to do a gun grab, you know, at least not successfully. Um, nothing ultimately can actually stop a, a bad guy from getting your gun if he's hell-bent on getting it. All these things do is buy you time time where you could actually react but um that's also where training makes up for the slack so definitely invest in training uh this right here is going to be my state of illinois security badge uh nothing too special about it you know i'm pretty sure you guys are issued a badge uh, you know wherever jurisdiction or state that you're coming from uh, my duty pistol it's going to be a Glock 17 Generation 4. Um, just I know how some guys on YouTube are, so it has been checked and cleared. So on this I have a, a TLR 1HL weapon light, um, and also I invested in a pair of decent night sights. These are going to be the XS uh, F8. Night sights, uh, rest in peace, uh, James Yeager. Moving over, this is going to be my uh, my go to duty knife that I carry on duty. This is going to be a Smith and Wesson first response knife with the option of a glass breaker. Um, a lot of you guys probably seen this from the movie, um. Can't remember exactly what it's called. I think End of Watch. This is the knife that was on there. Um, but movie aside, this is actually a really, really good knife. Uh, definitely recommend it. All right, uh, moving over. This is going to be my Guardian Angel Light. Um, this is actually the Guardian Angel Elite. It's actually in green and white. Moving over, this is another flashlight I carry. This is the ASP Tungsten. Uh, it takes two uh, CR123s or a single 18650. Um, it's a very decent light for what it does. Um, you know, I carry my full size on my belt, but, you know, I've been in situations um, where your main light might actually go out, and it's always good to have a backup, so... This I actually carry in my pocket, you know, so. And this is just a, this is what they call a tactical pin. It has an optional glass worker at the tip, but it actually is a rotting utensil also. So it's actually good to have, um, never know what situation or you're going to wind up in and you never know. What's good, what options you have at the time to utilize to possibly get somebody off. All right. Okay, this is gonna be my uh, duty vest that I wear pretty much every day. This is made by RTS Tactical, it's a level 3A which means it should stop uh, pretty much all handgun rounds. It also has a hard trauma plate in the middle of it um, that also help protect your vitals. Uh, carry two spare mags along with the magazine in my gun. These are uh, Liberty uh, Civil Defense rounds. 
also carry an additional flashlight. This is a LA police gear uh, rechargeable mini light. It's pretty bright. Like I said, you can never have enough flashlights, guys. This is going to be my radio uh, holder. I believe the holder itself is made by Voodoo Tactical. It has my uh, thin purple line, subdued patch on it, representing the security and public safety um, sector. And this right here, by far, is one of the most important things that I do carry. This will get you out of trouble. You know, um, I think the time where... All right, this right here is probably going to be one of the most important things I do carry. Um, this right here will actually keep you out of trouble. It's a body cam. I don't specifically know the model, but it really doesn't matter as long as it's a decent body cam. I think I paid like 60 bucks for this on Amazon. It's like 64 gigs. Um, it's, I've already tried it out. It pretty much lasts my entire shift that I work. So um, it's good to have. Um, for liability purposes, or if a situation arises where it's your word versus the general public. So it's good to have something to cover yourself also. And for the most part, guys, um, other than, of course, the bell keepers, which are also important, you know, um, that's about it. If there's any questions, please leave a comment. Please stay respectful to everybody also who might be on the page. And I will talk to you guys later.